Hello students. In this video we're going to determine whether or not a partial derivative is positive or negative based on um, the geometric viewpoint of its contour map. Alright, so um, we're going to look at the point P, which is located here in the um, first quadrant, the upper right, and we want to know um, if the partial of f with respect to x at p is positive or negative, and uh, we want to know if the partial with respect to y is, at p is positive or negative. So uh, one tack you can take is um, consider um, the planes of constant y here, right? So those are the planes that are going um, in the horizontal direction, and um, I and we're going to draw a little arrow at P in the positive x direction. Okay, and then I'm going to take a look at what's happening to the contour. So if I were located at P and I were going in the positive x direction along a plane of constant y, so that means I'm going to be going in this direction, so parallel to the x-axis, I would be going downhill. That's because these numbers are going from bigger to smaller. Now, yes, I understand, like, you know, going, up ver going down vertically would be like going down the hill, but you could still be going down the hill. Um, you're just not going like perpendicular, so to speak, to the contour lines. Okay, so you're still going downhill even if you're going this way. And um, if you were to look at this um, in the plane on y, if you're to look at a cross section of that, you would see yourself um, going downhill. Um, and so that means that um, the function is decreasing and so the derivative is less than zero at p. Likewise, I would draw an arrow in the positive y direction and again these are along planes of constant x. So remember the partial with respect to y keeps x constant. So um, again, um, if I go along this direction at p, um, then um, and, uh, then uh, I would be going downhill as well, um, similar to um, this, you know, what I explained in the previous um, case. Um, so I'd be going down the contours as well um, in this direction, and so that means that I would be decreasing. So f sub y, or the partial with res the partial of f with respect to y, is negative. Okay. Similarly, um, let's say that I wanted to see what was happening at q. Okay, I want to know. Um, the partial of f with respect to x at q and the partial of f with respect to y at q. Um, well, if I draw a the positive x direction and I look what's happening here, um, these are, again, this is keeping y constant, then um, I would be going down the contours. Okay, I'd be going, I'd be decreasing. So um, if I were to tilt this up and look at the plane, um, it would be going in the, um, it'd be a decreasing tangent line. Okay, and similarly, if I look in the, if I look in this direction, and I start going up this way, and this is in the um, constant x direction, then I would see that I would be increasing, and um, that means that f uh, sub y is greater than zero, so it is positive, and um, that's a geometric viewpoint of partials um, by observing the uh, contour maps. All right. Good luck.